All right, so what I'm gonna do is show you how to mix these colors. And then I'm gonna show you how you can put together a flower and then you're just going to build your um, sunflowers from that. So, of course, we're gonna need a lot of yellow, right? So you're gonna need a lot of yellow for the actual flower part, but you're also gonna need green. So you might remember that to make green, I take some yellow and some blue. What I do is I just put them together like that and then I just start to kind of mush and twist them with my hands. You can see it's starting to get swirly and you should start to be able to see green. Do you see it yet? I see it, it's coming. So if you want this to be a solid green color, you just mix it until it's all the way mixed. If you wanna leave some, you know, you can see some little lines in it that are kind of cool, you could leave that too. All right, so I've got my green done. Now you're also going to probably need some orange. You can use orange. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the red because red is a very strong color. Red and blue are both strong colors. So when you mix them with the yellow, you usually need more yellow than the red or blue. Okay, this is turning orange. Nice. Now if I wanted my orange to be a lighter orange, I could take my white, add some white to my orange, what's gonna happen to it? It's gonna turn lighter, right? Adding white to any color makes your color lighter. All right, looks kind of like ice cream, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so there I've got a light orange. Now the last color that I need to make is brown for the center of my sunflowers. So in order to make brown, I'm actually gonna need all three because when you mix the three primary colors, it makes brown. So I'm gonna mix these up. And sometimes I like to adjust the color a little bit. Like sometimes my brown looks a little bit too blue, so I add some more red. So you might have to kind of adjust your color See how it turns out first, and then add some more of the other colors. All right, it's almost mixed. Now this looks pretty reddish brown to me. So I am going to try adding a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow, and then we'll see if that helps a little bit. So I didn't wanna add any more red, right, because it looks a little bit on the reddish side to me. Oh, I think that's pretty good. Almost looks like a grayish brown. All right, I'm, I'm happy with that. So I've got my basic colors that I need. Now the only color that we did not mix just now was purple. Purple is red plus blue, right? Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use purple, so I'm not gonna mix it right now. All right, so once you've mixed your colors and you've gotten your stuff ready, then you can start to actually make the flower. So here's how I did it. I took some brown for, this is for the center of my sunflower. I rolled it into a sphere and then I just flattened the sphere to whatever size I wanted it to be. I think that's about the size that I want. And then I started taking pieces of my yellow. Of course, I could also, maybe I wanna make it a little bit more yellow orange. Could do that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I take this, I'm actually gonna make this into two. Roll up a sphere again and then I'm just going to start shaping it and at the end I'm going to make a little point just 
like that. Now with Model Magic Clay, it actually is just gonna stick to itself. So I can just attach this little leaf, or sorry, petal, right behind there. But that, that also means you have to be careful, right? Because if I accidentally stick my yellow onto my green, they're gonna be stuck, right? So you do have to be careful of where you're doing it. So I'm just gonna add some petals going all the way around the center of my sunflower. All right, so I went all the way around once. Now I'm actually going to add some more petals behind these ones that I just did because I want, I do want to add a few more. I have some spaces. So, and I think I'm going to use orange for this part. So before I place this onto my paper, I'm actually going to add some little details. For example, I'm going to use this marker and just press it gently into the center of my sunflower and it leaves that circle from the top of the marker, which makes a nice design on there. Now you can also add, do things like add some leaf, or not leaves, add some veins onto your flowers. And a way that I did that was to use just, you just find something that you can use the edge of it, like for example, your scissors, and just carefully press that line into there. You could also use a little plastic knife, that would work too, but I'm, I think this is working pretty well. I'm being careful with my scissors, right? So it's just adding a little line. So if you're in my class, I will bring some little plastic knives so that you can add some lines if you want to. All right, now I am ready to put this onto my paper. So here's my paper. Oops, got to move some of these over. And remember, we, we already put the vase on, right? So now I'm just going to start adding my flowers onto the paper. So I'm gonna kind of just decide where I want it to go. I think I'm gonna want it like right there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. Now you don't have to add glue. I'm just a little bit worried. I don't want it to fall off once it's dry. So I'm just adding some glue, not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put it right in the middle there. So I'm gonna start adding my sunflowers and overlapping them as I do it. Let's look back at my first one that I showed you, my original one. So do you see how they're, they're very overlapping, right? Overlapping means you put it a little bit on top of the other one. So I am going to make some more sunflowers, overlap them. I'm thinking I'm gonna need maybe about six sunflowers, but you can just kind of see kind of depends on how big your paper is, right? And you might have noticed I'm going to need to open another yellow because this one's almost gone. All right. Oh, one other thing. You can add leaves. I almost forgot this. So the leaf shape is about the same. I'm just going to make it slightly larger, but I'm going to pinch the end. You can see it looks kind of like a raindrop shape, doesn't it? Flatten it out. And then if you wanted lines on your leaf, you could do the same thing, just make a line. And then I'm actually gonna put my leaf a little bit underneath, so it's just kind of sticking out from there. So then you can add as many leaves as you want, right? All right, I'm gonna keep building my sunflower.
Okay, so I have layered all of my sunflowers. I have added glue to them and stuck them down. So now I'm gonna need to put this in a safe place where it can dry. And I would recommend putting it there for a whole week. I know that sounds like a long time, but you want your clay to get really nice and dry and it's gonna stick to the paper so that it won't fall off. So if you have any extra clay left over, here's what I like to do. So I had a little bit of blue. So I'm gonna put it back inside the little wrapper because like we said earlier, this clay can stick to each other, right? So I'm gonna put it back inside the wrapper. I had some red left, so I'm just gonna put my red back here. And then what I like to do to keep them safe is put them inside a Ziploc bag so that I can use them later. And I'm gonna make sure that the Ziploc is nice and tight and I've got all that extra air out of it. And then I can use it later. This will, this will stay good for about six months if you really keep it sealed and um, keep the air out of it. So it, you can use it for other things if you have some left over. I ended up using four of these little packages of yellow, one red, one blue, and one white. So the yellow is the one you're gonna need the most of. And these are little one ounce packages and you can buy it in um, bigger sizes too. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy making your 3D sunflowers inspired by Vincent Van Gogh. I can't wait to see what you create. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.